folks, Rob with two guys on a ride. Today we're out at Minnesota Cars and Coffee at beautiful Friar Lake, Mystic Lake Casino. Got a car going by, so we'll let him go so you can make sure and hear us, but it's great. It's all these sounds that I have of these cars. I met a really cool guy here. His name is Kevin. He's got an awesome car, but the best part is what he plans to do with it. But before we do, take a minute, hit that subscribe button, ring that bell notification at the top so you never miss one of our videos. And Kevin's kind of a kindred spirit with me. He's a brother and he didn't realize it until we just met. He's a Marine recruiter locally. And Kevin, I'm gonna have you introduce yourself. A little, uh, little shameless plug on my <laughs> Eagle Globe and Anchor there as well. I'll have you introduce yourself. Tell us about your car. Walk us around. Show us what it is now. And tell us what you want to do with your car. Okay, so a little bit about me. Like I said, my name is Kevin Tran. Uh, I was born and raised here in Shakopee, Minnesota. And I graduated from Shakopee High School in 2014. And then I joined the Marine Corps late 2014. From there, I mean, I lived in Southern California for quite a bit over in Camp Pendleton. But over there is when everything really peaked for me when it came to the car community, because SoCal is really good about that. Now, this right here is my uh, 2019 370Z. I bought this last year, August, from Oceanside. And why I bought this car, it brings me back over to when I was a kid, when I first watched Fast and the Furious Tokyo Drift with my father, and I fell in love with my, uh, well, with DK's 350Z. And that being said, I mean, being a kid, the 350Z has always been something I've always wanted. And then in 2009, you know, still dreaming about the 350Z, the 370Z came out. And from there, I mean, I fell in love with the 370Z. I just always wanted one. And, you know, a couple years down the road now, I finally got my 2019 370Z and I absolutely love it. Right now, when it comes to performance though, it is stock. I do have a warranty I don't want to avoid yet. Yeah, that's fair, right? <laughs> right? But the first thing I did was my headlights. With the 2019, they already did come black, but I have a buddy, his name is uh, SoCal underscore Retrofit on Instagram. And what he did is he broke the seal, he painted everything gloss black to match everything up. He installed the Marimoto halos and the eyes on the inside. You can see it. I know it's bright out, so it's really hard to see. No, that. we're getting it, yeah. Really? But really? he did that. He wired up everything for me, sealed it back up, and it honestly didn't even cost that much. It's only $550 for me. But then, after that, yep. I now wait a minute. While we're here at the front, what have you got down below here? Let's let's talk about the splitter. Okay, for sure. <laughs> so this right here is my. So APR. you have done a few modifications to it, but just just uh, a few cosmetic modifications, basically. Then yes, just cosmetics okay. right now. So right here, I have my APR performance uh, front splitter. It's full carbon fiber. I put that on myself. Took about took about two hours, but I put it on well enough where I can actually step on it. Oh boy! So I'll show you that. I'll let you do that. <laughs> Holy cow. Well, it is, yeah, it's carbon fiber. So you're, you're testing, you're showing us it is genuine carbon fiber. That looks cool on there, by the way. That's Thank awesome. you. I appreciate it. Yeah, it's really awesome. I pointed the rods to the side because I just wanted to complement the curves with the headlights. Right, right. Oh, I see. I see that now. Yeah, yeah. Yep. Uh, that's really cool. It's got like a little toothy grin now or a, a, a snake bite almost. Oh, yeah. That's, that's, the, yeah, yeah. that's the look I love about yeah. the 370s. Yeah. Look at that. That's awesome. So now, what about under the hood? What have you got under the hood? And but you or is that still stock? You said yes. The under the hood right now, it is still stock. It is fairly new. Okay. It's still got its warranty. So right. I want to use that to kind of just cover me for now. Right. But later on in the future, what I plan on doing is I want to supercharge this car. I've always wanted to put a Stellan supercharge in it. Wow. But have the air-to-air -air upgrade. So what kind of horsepower is it putting out at stock? At stock. Right now it's 332 to the crank, approximately like 290, 300 to the wheels. And with the uh, supercharging and stuff, you're hoping to get? I'm hoping to get at least 550. <laughs> <laughs> That's one fast marine, guys. <laughs> That's awesome. So what else do you want to do with the car? Again, you, it is stock overall. You've done a couple of things, but you, well, you've got something. Now these are stock wheel, the yes. entire package as well? Yes. And what size are these? These are 18 inch. Oh, these are easy. Okay, so what what's the largest you can go on this car? Because I know you've got struts, houses, and towers and stuff like that. Do you know? The largest I can go with it, 
I personally don't know. Okay. But of course, you can go lower profile. That's oh, not yeah. a really low profile tire there. That's oh, okay. at this point. So okay, you could probably maybe go twenties. Yes. Okay. You could. I mean, I've seen people in Southern California rocking twenties on three seventy Zs. Okay. But I think the most I'd go is nineteens. Okay. I think nineteens would look really nice with the right. car. But that's definitely down down the road. Okay, so you got something cool back here on the back that kind of matches a splitter up front. Tell us about this. So this is the APR Performance Carbon Fiber Wing for the 370Z. I got this about a couple weeks ago and I installed it myself. It took me about you know, three hours starting at 11.30 at night and I got home at 3 a.m. with work at 7 a.m. Now this is actually, <laughs> is, so this is, you, you, you've bolted it through the trunk or lift gate of the car? Yes. How was that and uh, how unnerving was that to drill holes in there? Oh, that was terrifying. <laughs> that was, I had to have, like quadruple check right? my measurements to make sure that this is right because before the wing, this thing, this trunk was completely clean. There's no holes in it at all. Right, right. Just pristine as you could be in any little, and that's not a very wide bracket to, to mount it on there. So uh, <laughs> any measurement of a quarter inch or so would have really shown up uh, badly for you. Oh, absolutely. So that's why I had to like quadruple check the measurements, make sure it was good. And the thing is, I had to drill six total holes. Okay. So yeah, one here, ah. one here, one here. And okay. Same thing with this side. Okay. But wow. when I put it on, yeah, under here, I'll show you. I mean, it's just covered up. But right, right, right. You won't see any of the, you know, yep, the any stuff of the I had to do. hardware, right, and the and the drill holes and stuff. But I did have to use a little metal cutter, cut a little box right here in this area because okay. the middle bolts, right were impossible to get you unless I were to, you know, cut holes right there. Oh, okay, because of the way the, the from the factory it was, the metal was already there. You had yes. to cut the metal away to ha gain access. Okay. Yes. You can kind of tell, like, you can tell that there's multiple layers of metal. Right, just right. kind of how it's built in. Right. Like this. So, that's that. Wow. That's a beautiful wing, though, I'll tell you. Thank you. I like that a lot. I do plan on actually doing more of this wing. I just got to figure it out because when I do drive this car, when I hit around, 80 i can see that this will shake just a little bit because a lot of the, the supports right in the center okay so what i want to try and do is i want to get rods i want to get rods going from around this general area pointing up to here to oh, be okay. able to support okay the ends of my carbon fiber wing gotcha. and it would be a pretty unique thing i haven't really seen anyone do that yet with this carbon fiber wing right but it's always time to try something new. Now, have you had this on any tracks or anything like that? Have you done, you know, some tracks in the areas will let you, let you do like civilian track day and stuff. Have you had any, have you done that or have any interest? So here in Minnesota, I have not yet. Okay. I have not been up to Brainerd yet or any type of like proving grounds okay. is what they call it here in Minnesota. Right. But in Southern California, there was a thing called uh, race legal. They okay. did stop it. But I think they're trying to bring it back up. Okay. There's a petition going on for that. But now, so you do have certain classes in because you don't have a roll bar. Uh, no. So there are certain things at certain limits they would probably hold you to speed wise and stuff or certain tracks or do you know? With uh, with race legal, it's just a drag strip. Okay. So okay. you didn't really have to like. Oh, I see. Okay. You didn't have to have a roll cage depending on how fast you went. Right. 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 All you needed was a helmet. Okay, okay. I know I was talking to a fellow last week at a car show that had a dragster, uh, and when he broke the 10 second, they told him, they said he couldn't do that anymore because he wasn't certified to go that fast. And I didn't realize that. Mm -hmm. I didn't know that was a thing, but uh, he has a roll bar and a helmet, but he just has to be fully certified to break that, to do sub 10s. Mm -hmm. And he went out there and kind of uh, rattled everybody's uh, cage and did a nine, uh, nine, three, four, I think. So that's awesome. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> he was like, okay. He, they quickly came out there and told me uh, I couldn't do that anymore. So what else are you planning on doing with this beautiful car? Because I, I don't know, folks, if you can see it, it's not just white, it's pearl white and the sun is shining. It's beautiful out here today and it's just sparkling in the light. Um, what's your dream with this car? So I do. Ooh. <laughs> all right, all right. So <laughs> I'm turning you loose. Go ahead. My dream with this car, right? The first thing that's actually coming soon, okay. next week, is my carbon fiber hood. Carbon so, fiber hood. Yes, sir. All right. I got a carbon fiber hood from Fly One coming in early next week. It's got the vents on the side and everything to keep the engine cool, which will help me out in the future because I do want to supercharge this car. Right. And 
when it comes to superchargers, I want it to be as cool as possible so it does not overheat. Now, are you going to do any graphics, or are you going to leave it as a kind of a little bit of a sleeper by just being white? I mean, it's it's not a sleeper. You can see with the wing and the spoiler, but you know, it's kind of under the radar like it is that now. Is that how you're planning on leaving it? Absolutely. I. I might wrap it. Okay. I might keep it with a white wrap just to protect the original pink because okay. this is the stock pearl white. Okay, yeah, and yeah. And I absolutely love the pearl white. It's just because when you clean it up, you take the time to make sure like there's no dirt on it, it shines. Just like you were saying earlier with the pearlescent, it like, pops out and right. I absolutely love it. Well, I, I actually think you need the uh, flag raising on Mount Sarabachi right here in the middle here. Uh, like the Iwo Jima Memorial folks, uh, for those who don't know the Marine Corps history. Uh, maybe uh, salute the Chesty Puller on the back uh, bumper there. Good Semper night. Fi. Semper Fi. Well, definitely the Semper Fi. Uh, so yeah, definitely. Uh, good night, Chesty Puller, wherever you are. <laughs> <laughs> what, I, what I actually could do, I've seen this done a couple times with different cars. Okay. But when I pop the hood right under it, I could oh, do yeah. a design. Oh, that would be awesome. Wouldn't that be cool? Yeah, I've oh, seen a few here beautiful. as well today too. So, oh, I saw that. well, tell me though, what is your favorite thing about your car? Absolute most favorite thing. I'm gonna put you on the spot. <laughs> the absolute most favorite thing about my 370Z is the fact that I actually don't see too many 370Zs. It's been out for a little bit, so it's its own thing, and not many people that I've seen in the car community have 370Z. Of course, there's some around but it's unique to me. I've always loved how the headlights looked. I've loved how the boomerang taillights look too. Yes, yeah. But then also the manual transmission, I've had so much fun with it. I've had so much fun with that. So folks, you see it's uh, the car, the uh, car uh, enthusiast. Uh, they're all ages, you name it, all types of cars. It's absolutely wonderful. Uh, just, it's it's your passion. It's about a passion for a piece of metal, but it's rolling art. <laughs> and the cool thing about a lot of the cars out here, you can just basic cars up to something this cool. You can take it yet even further and customize it yet even more to make it even more yours and to put your personal stamp on it. And I think that's pretty awesome. And you know, Kevin, thank you so much for sharing your car with us. I really appreciate it. It's an awesome car. Maybe I'll catch you again in another car show when you've got all your modifications and we'll take a look at again at that. Oh, let's do it. All right. Sounds good. <laughs> Thanks, folks. Thank you.